Despite a scintillating knock from Captain Haley Matthews, the West Indies women lost the opening T20 International versus Australia in Sydney today. Wayne Cunningham has the details. Australia won the toss at the North Sydney Oval and invited the West Indies women to take first strike. And that paid dividends by the fourth over when Shabika Gajnabi was bowled by Darcy Brown for no score. The dependable Stephanie Taylor joined her captain in the middle but only got a 10 before being run out. At the other end, Hayley Matthews was having her way with the Aussie attack, reaching her 50 of 36 balls with 7 fours and 2 sixes. She lost another partner in Sherman Campbell, who was stumped for 19. Matthews ran out of balls before she could reach three figures, ending on 99 not out in 74 deliveries with 12 fours and four sixes, as the Windies closed on 147 for three in their 20 overs. That score seemed defendable, but the home team made light work of the chase, with Alyssa Healy, 56 in 29 balls, and Talia McGrath, 60 not out in 37, taking it to the West Indies bowlers. They reached the target in a mere 13.2 overs for the loss of two wickets to register the series opening win by eight wickets with 40 balls remaining. Matthews was the player of the match for her 99 not out and bowling figures of 1 for 17 in two overs. The West Indies women will now regroup for the second T20 international tomorrow night, which is 4.05 a.m. Eastern Caribbean time. Wayne Cunningham, TTT Sport.